delighted that uh, we have brought light to the avenues. Uh, there are a lot of things to see in the avenues. <laughs> so sometimes it is useful uh, to be able to see clearly uh, as people move and navigate uh, the avenues area. But uh, it is the area where our major hotels are also located. So it is very important for people as they visit the hotels and move around the streets to avoid muggings, to avoid uh, misidentifications, <laughs> to be able to see uh, what is happening uh, at all times. So we are happy about this light. We are happy with the cooperation uh, we are having with the Minister of Local Government uh, and the government in general. Uh, we have done a lot of work on the roads, we have done a lot of work on the street lights, we have done a lot of work on the beautification of the city. And we hope that we are able to make sure and we will continue with the momentum. We don't want this momentum to die. Uh, we want it to continue beyond Sadak. As you can see, the presidents of Sadak went, they left the roads here. Uh, they went and they left the lights here. So every time you improve your homestead because a visitor has come, of course they will eat the chicken, but they will leave the walls painted and they will leave the gates uh, correct and everything will be better than, we, uh, uh, or than it was before. So there are critical areas that we have to continue. Yes, we, we are going to move the roads program into our other areas, residential areas, we are going to move the lighting program into the rest of the city and also our residential uh, areas uh, with these new added uh, uh, technologically compliant lights. So we are also going to look at the situation of water. Uh, we are going to ask uh, the ministry to keep assisting us. I noted that our water, our dams, Lake Chivero is at 97% according to Zinwa. Uh, Lake Manyame is at 89 percent according to Zinwa and uh, which becomes Lake Panyame in Mozambique. Now if our dams are at 97 percent and 89 percent in August it means our abstraction levels are low. So we need to work out a formula of making sure that we are drawing the water because very soon those dams will be spilling and this water will be going to Mozambique, uh, causing floods and so forth. Yet we want to drink it. So we are going to come up with a framework of how we can extract more water from our dams so that we have water available for everyone. So it's a deep discussion we are going to have and we are going to make sure that we improve the installed efficiencies at our, our dams. It is very well to build other dams but there is no point if you are not able to extract as much water as you should in the existing facility. Even if we put a margin of error of 10%, it's still a lot of water that is in our, in our dams. And that is a generous margin of error. But anyway, we, we, we want to look at how we are going to improve the infrastructure. We will ask our people to take care of the frontage of their shops, the pavements, and also refuse collection, and we are going to see how we can uh, handle market trading at night. That is uh, becoming a phenomena of Harari. So these are the issues that we are grappled with. And also, we want to deal with the transport situation. We need a mass public transport system. We cannot continue with the combis, and we cannot continue with our transport uh, ranks dilapidated. So we are going to come up with the, these measures. And as the minister has said that they are watching us, uh, we are also improving the city so that the city can look as handsome as its mayor, <laughs> as you can see, <laughs> as, they watch, <laughs> as they watch us. So we are very happy that we are now making significant progress. I do understand that uh, people were uh, claiming our my mayors are here uh, from various uh, towns, uh, even uh, uh, Gwanda, we had come to attend uh, the Herbert uh, Chitepo, the Herbert Woodshare um, for my Ndini Chitepo uh, workshop. Now we attend all manners of workshop on, <laughs> on environment, 
on many other issues. And therefore, we cannot have a polemic, nor can we quarrel with the legacy of Herbert Chitepo. We cannot quarrel with the legacy uh, that is clear and that forms the genesis of our nation state. And in any event, it is our firm view that there is no party that can appropriate the legacy of Herbert Chitepo, be it ZANU-PF, be it Triple C, be it any other party. Herbert Chitepo is a national uh, heritage issue and their contribution are national issues. He is in the same status as Walter Sisulu, Nelson Mandela, Joshua Kwaboko Komo, uh, Robert Mugabe, Morgan Changrai, etc., etc. So we cannot uh, be shy of having to attend some of these workshops when we are invited by our parent ministry. No one has been asked to renounce their political party, but people have gone to understand the genesis and the philosophy that uh, uh, some of us are operating from. And it is something that uh, we have no uh, qualms in attending and we are part and parcel of that process for the next uh, two days. And that uh, should really put the matter uh, to rest. We attend so many things uh, 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 at, at so many times and therefore it should not be a big problem. And they took the time to come from there to witness some of the developmental projects that we are doing and when we work together we will be able to achieve a lot as has been seen in Arari. If people did not know that lights could be brought in fast time People did not know that roads could be repaired in fast time. People could not know that certain things that were happening could happen in the quick time that they were happening. So we will keep the momentum and we will make sure that there will be light in the hall of Harare. The electricity, I'm sure, will also go to solar solutions so that uh, if ZESA fails for one reason or the other, we are still able to keep our lights operating. So thank you once again for the contact.